Hi, this is Sharif with CGS Computers, and today I'm going to show you how to create a scroll to top button using Elementor Pro. The example site we're using today is just this demo site. It's a template pulled from Astra Premium Sites. Um, it's using uh, the Astra theme header, and then the rest of it's built with Elementor. Uh, the footer included is also built with Elementor. So what we're going to do is the first thing we have to do when you want to make a scroll to top button is you need to define what is the top of your website. Where, where do you want that button to scroll to? So we're going to do that in Elementor. We're going to edit this page. And then we're going we're gonna to select the very top section, since that is the top. And we're going to go to the Advanced tab. And in the CSS ID section, we're going to put in CGS Top Section. And you can put anything you want in here, um, but you want to make sure that whatever you're putting in, there's no chance that this is an already existing ID for a CSS item in the page. Uh, so I usually prepend everything with just CGS, my company name. That way I know that anything pre, you know, with that doesn't have a likelihood of being reused by some commercial theme maker somewhere. So that kind of guarantees me that I'm never going to run into a duplication issue. So we're going to go ahead and hit update. And that's it for this part. The top of this page has been defined. And now we have to create a button to send us there. So we're going to do that in the footer because this footer was, uh, was built in Elementor Pro. Uh, we're going to go to our, um, let's see, our header and footer builder. So we're using the header and footer builder plugin that comes with Astra. Um, but if you have if you have Elementor Pro, you would just have it there. Um, the reason I used it this way is because that's what came with this template. Um, so we're going to go ahead and edit this with Elementor. <laughs> And so all we need to do here is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and find a button. And you don't have to use a button. You can use anything that allows you to to to, to make a link. So you could use you know a, a text or a hyperlink or a heading with just a piece of text that you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a success button. It's easier to see with this background. Uh, we'll right justify it. In the link here, you're gonna leave the hash pound or the hash sign or pound sign in there, and you're gonna put that CGS top section. So that says whatever page I'm on find that section and take me there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe we'll just call this back to the top or scroll to top or whatever and maybe we'll put an icon in there uh, just for fun. Maybe we'll pick the, here you go, the angle up that order. Right, we'll do double one. So there's your back to top button. Now the other thing we want to do is probably we want to stick it to the bottom of the screen. So we're going to go into the advanced positioning and the position, we're going to make it fixed. And then see how it's at the top. We don't want it there, we want it at the bottom. That's down here at the vertical orientation bottom. And let's say we probably don't want it right in the corner of the browser like that. Maybe we want it a little bit in and have some padding around it. So we're going to come back up to the advanced. We'll unlink the padding. Maybe we'll give it uh, 50 pixels on the right and 50 pixels on the bottom. And maybe I don't like that. Maybe we'll make it five pixels on the bottom and then uh, let's see 25 25 yeah it looks better and then we'll do we'll check it on tablet so on a tablet we don't have it fixed so let's go back and look and see uh, position fixed oh, bottom should still be there oh because we're in the we're in the wrong view sorry But that spacing is still good. And let's also look at how it looks on mobile. So this is a little bit out there. Maybe on mobile we don't want the padding that way. Maybe we want the uh, maybe we want the padding on mobile to be zero and zero. That probably looks better. And then we'll hit update. <laughs> and if we've done everything right we have a back to top work and button that actually works. Now, when I do this, and, I've, and you know, I usually run through these beforehand, um, 
before I do these videos just to see and you'll see you'll notice that the button's not here and this is something this is a good opportunity for you to know sometimes when you when you make changes in Elementor uh, your web browser caches the previous version of the page so it's not there so what we're gonna do is we're, I'm using Chrome we're gonna hit developer mode which is F12 and then we'll go and we'll hit the reload key but instead of just hitting the reload key you want to do a right click and choose empty cache and hard reload now you won't be able to see that pop up uh, context menu in my screen share but it's there you can try it yourself um, once the cache is done now you actually have the button and if we scroll down anywhere you'll notice that the button stays there and if we click it we get a nice smooth scroll right to the top right so the next thing you need to do is if you have more pages you're gonna and and your pages aren't using a template so for instance this page came with a template but it's it's not the same section at the top as it is on the home page so we have to go into each page and we need to define the top of each page now if you're building your site with Elementor hopefully you're using page templates so that you don't have to do this for you know every single blog post that would just be ridiculous so if we call that top section with the CSS ID of CGS top section update now you'll see that even even in the editor it works now all right so that's it that's all you have to do there are probably a hundred other ways to do this with Elementor Pro that's the way I do it so hopefully you guys get some uh, get some value out of that um, I would really like it if you uh, give me some feedback like the video don't like the video don't like how I talk I do everything in one take so you know when I screw up you see it um, and that's it. I hope you guys like it. I hope it gives you some value. Um, I will link down in the description. I've got a blog post that goes through it step by step on how to do this, um, a little more detailed. And um, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you guys subscribe. That really helps out videos. It does help get views. And uh, some of the affiliate links that I have in my blog posts, like they kind of help pay the bills. So it's always a good thing. So thanks for watching.